Fig fam. Good morning. Welcome to another episode. Episode five. Look at us. Figs and coffee. I was going to talk to you guys about up potting a fig tree today, but I can't. Why? Because I'm out of dirt. But today I want to touch back on suckers and not removing suckers from a pot, but how to remove them from the ground of your in-ground fig tree. And I have a really cool tool to show you. It's called a hori hori knife. Let's check it out in the greenhouse. Oh, good morning, plants. Fig babies. Suckers are waking up in the greenhouse. Right now it's at 50. The heating mat I have is at 78. So you have heat mats on this whole top shelf. I'm adding heat mats to the bottom, and we are going to put more fig cuttings in right here. And hopefully more fig cuttings up here, as I can move some of these potted figs down here. Guys, this is what I wanted to show you. An awesome gift I got for Christmas from my brother. Check it out. A hori hori knife, a Japanese soil knife. This was made by Skyhaven Harvest. It feels incredible. It's heavy, yet balanced. Here we go. I've already used it, and it's up to the task that we're going to do today of removing in-ground suckers from a fig tree. We're cutting through the root ball. It has this serrated edge. This that looks like a bottle opener works great as a bottle opener, but is actually for cutting twine. It's concave. For acting as a shovel. It also has a measuring tool. Whether you're planting something at depth, whether you're doing seed spacing, it's all right here. This beautiful, like handcrafted tool. I'm kind of in love, guys, just because I work so much with my hands that now I have a tool that can casually accompany me because it's replacing my saw, my shovel, my scissors aspects of my clippers so all of these into one tool so i'm really excited i'm going to use it today when i'm cutting out my in-ground suckers from my small and large fig trees to show you guys the sky haven harvest and thank you so much bro i love you and i'm very grateful that you think of me in my gardening adventures So the smaller tree I want to do an air layer off is my Colded en Blanc. It is perhaps one of the best fig trees I own. It is an Adriatic type fig, which means it has a green exterior and a deep wine red interior. It tastes like raspberry jam. It ripens later in the year for me. It does take a longer growing season. It ripens October and I had figs through November here in Wilmington, North Carolina, zone 8B. But today I wanted to show you that I've had this sucker, which looks like a whole other branch, grow from the root ball of this tree. We've covered before how suckers have their own roots. And so it's teeing you up for success for propagating a fig tree if you utilize suckers in potted figs or in in-ground figs. So today I want to show you how to safely remove it and safely transplant into a pot. So I have limited potting soil. We're going to use some coconut coir and perlite today. So using my hori hori knife, let's dig her up. In an effort to maximize the quantity of roots that come with this, I am going to try to get a good visual of how many roots are attached to it to begin with. I do see some roots here, and I do see some roots underneath here, but I don't see a lot, which is okay, because you know what? Figs can propagate themselves. And this is all for experimentation. It's all for knowledge and learning. And experimenting is part of the learning process. But I see roots here. So I'm way more comfortable to removing this sucker. That is huge, by the way. And so what I'm actually going to do is when I remove the sucker, I'm going to prune all the way down to here. And I'm going to turn all these into cuttings. If anyone's interested in cold on Blanc cuttings, I think I'm going to put these up on Figbid. But I also have them available on philsfigs.com. So if you want this tree, it is 
introduced to the fig world through Montserrat Ponds. It's originally from the Balearic Islands. If people are unfamiliar with the Balearic Islands, that is Mallorca, Menorca, and Ibiza in the Mediterranean Sea that are Spanish islands. It's an incredible fig. It's French for uh, collar of the lady because it has a beautiful collar on the neck of the fig. But I digress. We are going to remove this tree safely with our hori hori knife. I'm going to go ahead and remove as much of this fig tree as I can. Part of that is just taking your time. And anyone who's new at doing this, go for it. Because at the end of the day, it could just become a cutting and that would still propagate. So I encourage you always, if you're interested in growing figs, if you want to learn more about your figs, just go for it. It's the garden, guys. I am going to start digging out as many roots as I can. I've zoomed in for you guys and I moved so you can see. You can see I've cleared the area. I got these roots coming up that are in theory attached to this sucker that's attached to the mother tree. I've confirmed where the base attaches to the mother tree. I can go ahead and remove it. This tree is about, I don't want to say four years old, and it follows the three year rule. First year they sleep, the second year they creep, the third year they leap. Figs can break that rule and grow six feet their first year. They will fruit for you their first year. They're quite precocious as a fruit, which is very encouraging as a gardener when you want to see results from a fruit tree. Let's cut through this and harvest this sucker. But I want to capture as many roots as possible for the success of this big branch to be its own tree. So let's go ahead and cut it close. So this branch down here really widens at the base. It's almost splitting into two trees. So I really need to like up my game and expedite this. I do need the saw. All right. This little root piece here. So I actually had to use this extra serration to get through all of this. So normally when I would want to take this out of the ground and put it into its own pot with soil, I would want to maintain the root ball as much as possible. But for showing you guys what it looks like underneath, I'm going to bare root it real quick. It's also important to note that you can take these roots and you can take this soil with it because like I've said before, there's mycorrhizae that works to help the tree take up its own nutrients. So when I pull this up, check it out. That was a big one. In fact, I even had to rip it right here, but all these roots are right here with it. And this guys will become its own fig tree. Normally you'd want to backfill this and amend it with some soil. But I have a lot of really good soil underneath here that I've placed over a few seasons. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to compact this whole area. I can still see like uh, the fertilizer I put in here. But I'm going to backfill it with all this stuff. Get it nice and tight and covered up. And let the tree recover this winter. And come springtime, it'll start shooting out roots before it pushes out leaf growth and it'll be ready to go. And you know what? Sometimes trees will get into the habit of even making more suckers from the same area. So we'll see. If you don't have fresh compost to backfill it with, that's okay. You can just backfill with the dirt you have around you and prefers the microbiome that's been established here. So using a good foundation of soil when you first put the tree in and growing that as the tree grows is going to be really, really helpful. I have successfully removed this sucker, which looks a little underwhelming at first, but it's actually great. I'm really excited to put this in its own pot with some soil and harvest these cuttings. All right, you know how I said I was low on potty mix? I'm not kidding. So I'm taking some soil from the tops of my other pots and I'm putting it in here. So thank you for your patience, guys. I wanna grab some stuff from the, some more pots real quick. Now that I have my sucker from my in-ground tree, we're just going to pot it up. Easy peasy. So here you can take a look. See these roots here? And what's important is that you have these initial roots that actually don't take up a lot of nutrients, but the secondary roots do. You can see them kind of 
these little tiny secondary roots branching off here. You can see them very clearly off of these roots here. These are the ones that will actually take up nutrients for you. And so we're really gifted with the fact that we have that already with our fig cutting. I am going to take advantage of all of this beautiful dormant lignified wood. Also, this brings you a really good point. Make sure your tree is dormant for a healthier recovery. They just do better in the winter time when doing severe uh, pruning, when doing severe harvesting of suckers. Dormancy allows them to sleep and wake up and recover easier. This year, I'm gonna go right here. All right, guys, beautiful sucker right here. It's gonna turn into an amazing fig tree. Hold it on blanc, guys. Since it already has its own roots, what I like to do is put a little soil in there, put it on top, and then as I cover the root system with dirt, I give it a little shake and it helps fill in all the cracks around the roots themselves. And I lift it up and I slowly do that until the pot is filled up at the top. And that way you'll have dirt all around the root system. There won't be a lot of air pockets. Uh, there will still be some porosity. You still want this little bit of airflow for your trees, guys. That's why they don't grow well in clay soils, because you don't have a lot of soil porosity for water to flow through, for airflow to flow through. So they can struggle taking up nutrients in uh, low porous soils. That's why potty mix has things like soil conditioner in it. But as I'm putting in the potty mix for a sucker, I'm giving a little shake each time until I get about three quarters of the way up and I've isolated where I want it to sit in the pot. And then I'm going to top it off. Pat it. You can harvest suckers any time of year, especially if they're big trees, they'll recover nicely. But to safeguard yourself when taking suckers from a younger tree, it's best to do it when they're dormant. And it's a great wintertime project when you're waiting for things to grow in the garden. Look at that. Just like that. That'll be its own fig tree. That's how easy it is, guys. Cold de Dame Blanc. You know, as a fig grower, and when I started doing this stuff, I read about the Cold de Dames. And I, as you learn about varieties, because I, I have about 80 varieties now. It took time to get there. It took time to obtain a lot of these. It took time to root a lot of these. And I want to make it more accessible to all of you. If you grow fig trees in the ground and you're in colder regions, you may have to be selective on what you can grow. If you grow trees in pots, you can grow any type of fig tree anywhere with proper winter storage and proper spring care. And it will pay off. It's pretty awesome. If you live in zone 8A and warmer, try growing a cold de dom. You will be impressed. For 7B and below, try growing it in a pot or container. That way you'll head yourself on success. We have a big freeze coming up next week. So I really want to pick as many suckers as I can. And that is a good way to head yourself. If you think that you're gonna lose a fig tree, try taking some suckers or cuttings and propagating those and then also taking adequate measures to protect your fig tree if you live in a place that doesn't typically receive that type of cold weather and your fig trees aren't used to it. And then guys here, if you guys are interested, let me know if it's easier for you to find it on figvid.com or if you just wanna go directly to my Instagram store or if you wanna go directly to philsfigs.com, I do have Cold It on Blanc available. I will give you three to four nodes per cutting. One, two, three, four, five, six cuttings here uh so let me know guys with my new hori hori knife and with the traditional saw and clippers cold it on blanc you can tell i'm excited about this fig um but now i have another one i'm going to put them up here with my other suckers and air layers. A lot of these came off with their own roots already. You can see in the greenhouse here, they're unheated on this pad, but they're still waking up because this greenhouse gets to be 70 plus degrees every day, even in January. The solar absorption 
really heats up this place and I'm really happy with that. It does get down into the high 40s, low 50s at night and you can still see I'm getting progress. Some of my cuttings are putting out growth, but you can see some of my suckers are actually waking up as well. As always, if you found this video really helpful, like, subscribe, let's collaborate in the comments section. I'd like to hear how you guys take your suckers from your in-ground trees. If you have suckers that you're nervous about taking out, reach out with any questions. But hey, fig fam, thank you. Like, subscribe, and I'm here to support you in growing fig trees, guys. Take care.